The purpose of this video is to instruct new racers on how to register for bike races via bike reg. So you've got your, uh, your USA Cycling membership, which includes your novice license, and you've been practicing, you've been riding hard, so now you want to sign up for your first race. So to do that, you want to go to bikereg.com. So from there, you can look up, you want to go to event calendars. And so for us, we're going to do um, road races, and I'm just going to do near me. So for here, I can plug in my zip code, you can hit search. You can also narrow things down to, um, to your event location. If there's a certain event you want to do, you can plug that in here. And then for the type of event, you can change that here. But I'm going to stick with road race, and you can press search. You can limit the amount of miles you're going around. So let's say we find we want to do, we want to find more information about this race. So you'll click on the link. So this is pre-reg only or pre-registration only. It gives you the township and the day. And so what you want to do is you can scroll down and it'll go through all these different tabs as you continue scrolling. It'll give you more information about it. So if you're a category five or novice, then you will, uh, you'll actually just click this box here. That means that that's what you're, uh, what's what you're interested in, in uh, racing in. So category five, which is a novice field, they're one and the same. It gives you the start time, the, the approximate distance, and then the prizes. So once you upgrade, typically you'll get more, um, you can get more in terms of money payout at the end, but typically uh, earlier categories are just either places, medals, or merchandise, maybe little goodies. Um, and then uh, it'll show you the field limit next, as well as the fee. Um, and so that's the, the fee just for the race. Now, to actually have your uh, fee and everything processed through Bike Reg, they will they charge I believe a three or something dollar fee so it'll actually be closer to like twenty three twenty four dollars to actually get all of your registration all set and um, sorry that was my my puppy <laughs> uh, so it'll get that all set for you to be able to race so then you'll add that to the cart but before you do that make sure that you check out the event notes so that'll give you things like uh, all the information about start times, if there are any issues with like pre-registration only. Some some events will give you day of registration, but typically that'll be a little bit more expensive. It'll be an additional ten or twenty dollars the day of the event, and then other specific um, other specific notes. You can always show more. They'll give you more information about the the course itself. Typically, sometimes they leave videos, which is really good. Um, and then uh, sometimes you also have the opportunity to race uh, multiple races. So say you're a category four rider and you, or say you're a category three rider, that would be a little bit easier with this race setup. So you're category three and you're male and so you wanna race in the senior men. So then you could choose both the category three, four men and also the one, two, three men because both of those categories are your um, uh, correspond to your category. So, uh, once you upgrade, typically that will, uh, typically you'll be able to race in multiple races in one day. And so that's up to you. And so some, um, some events will offer a, a reduced payment after, um, after you, uh, decide to race two races. So one, one race will be a little bit less expensive, which is really nice. And then there's some, also some other stipulations here, um, that you can, that you can use. Now, my suggestion, you can see here, one day licenses are an additional $10 fee. My suggestion is that you watch the, uh, a previous video that I put out on adding your or, or excuse me, creating your USA Cycling account and getting your adult membership for the novice category, which is just $50. Because if you're looking to, to do uh, multiple races and really get into racing or, or even give it a try, that will 
that will have you set up for the whole year rather than having to pay $10 fee after $10 fee after $10 fee. Um, so if you do more than five races, um, really you want to do the, um, you want to sign up, create your login with USA Cycling and then purchase that, that $50 membership that will get you access to, to all of the novice Cat 5 racing. Okay, I'll give you all the information and also some sponsorship information. Um, sometimes at the bottom, they'll give you additional uh, race flyer information, information on the course, which is really good because that can give you, um, it'll give you pictures of the course so you know what direction you're going. Um, maybe you can, then you can go onto Google Earth to take a look at um, maybe take a look at some turns. If it's relatively new Google Earth data, you can get some um, some interesting information on maybe where potholes are or where there are different road furniture or or rough uh, rough pavement. So then you have an idea on on kind of how you want to actually ride the course. And you can see the start finish line here and where registration is here, which is excellent. And they give you also information where parking is. So when you come in. You don't want to come in this first entrance here. You want to make sure that you go down to the second entrance if you're coming from this way to, uh, to get to the parking, which is actually very well located. Okay, so then you'll go through. You'll hit, uh, let's say we're category 5. So we'll uncheck those. You'll hit Add to Cart. And from there, it'll take you through. Um, there I have all my... Um, all my information here. So uh, typically you won't have a bunch of people come up here uh, because I was helping managing a, a team a while back that was giving me that uh, information. So then I could just sign people up through the, through the account. Now my suggestion is before you sign up for your race is that you'll actually you'll go to bikereg.com You'll click on my bike reg. I'm just going to log out. And so then you want to, you basically want to create an account. So what this will enable you to do is you can save in all of your information when it comes to, um, so you want to create a participant account. Um, it'll give you all the information and it'll, it'll, you can, you can save it from event registration to event registration. So it'll all stay plugged in there. And then you can also link your bike rec account to your road results, your road results account. So roadresults.com account, which uh, which will enable you to kind of claim your events, and um, and so then I can click on my road results profile, and then I'm able to make edits in terms of my team name. Um, and different information about myself, so then it's easy to take a look at all of my all of my um, information on my race finishing places, um, and then gives you points on kind of how you stack up against your competition as well. And so I'm gonna just I'm gonna sign in. Perfect. And then, um, then you can edit your profile here, going over all your information. And, um, and you can put in your team name, which is definitely something your team is going to want to, uh, want to have you represent them with. And then that you can see here, I've linked my results down here. So then I can get to, um, so I can get to all of my results. Okay, so that's basically how you, uh, how you register for races through your, um, through your uh, bike reg account and uh, and how to sign up for that and so then you can you can register for any of these you can save them and that that saving option is great for uh, when you actually create your account so if you have any questions maybe uh, maybe I skipped something or you're having any issues make sure that you leave a comment down below so then I can try to give you a hand with uh, with getting signed up for your first race and um, and hopefully all goes smoothly for you. All right, happy racing. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. 
so that I can keep on producing this content to help out new racers and riders alike.